First and foremost, analyze the situation before appearing on camera. Know exactly why you are being invited there and what your message will be. Don't forget that even if you receive a list of questions from the producers, you might still be asked some other questions or challenged in ways that you may not have expected. And for that reason, you will need to be creative and sharp and ready to respond. When I say prepare, I don't mean you should memorize a certain line. Instead, make sure you fully understand your message inside and out. Put yourself in the shoes of the audience of that particular program and think if you are giving them a clear, understandable story. That clarity also helps you with the next issue. When you're on camera, time flies. Don't waste it. And the better you're prepared, the more you are likely to benefit from the few minutes of fame you get. Some journalists make it their habit to be rather aggressive in their style of interviewing. Often they are just wanting to get straight to the point. A lot of people, especially politicians and officials, have to stick to an official line when being interviewed, and the journalists are being aggressive on purpose to throw them off balance to see if they can get a more honest answer. It's always good practice to do some research about who is interviewing you and see what their style is. When difficult or aggressive questions get thrown at you, you need to be prepared. This means you need to know your facts and figures inside and out, but can also mean you need to help try and regain control of the interview by using a technique called bridging. Here are some phrases you can use to bridge during interviews. My particular expertise is in, use this when you're asked a question that is completely out of your remit of expertise. You make a good point, however. This is how you politely say to somebody that they're wrong. Let me get back to you on that when you don't know the answer. I can't respond to a hypothetical question, but what I can tell you is that this one is pretty self-explanatory. I appreciate that perspective, but my experience has been this is when you politely disagree. Our research and analysis show that's when you want to show the in-depth knowledge backed up by your research. What is not being talked about is, use this when you need to change the subject. Let's put the issue in a broader context. That's when you need to open up the conversation or actually just move away from a detailed or small issue. Remember that nobody is perfect, so don't let small mistakes throw you off. Focus on the bigger picture, relax, be yourself, and remember that you are there for a reason, and that reason is to promote your great work and be the lighting guide to those who are not aware of the issue you are an expert on.